So because, because the theme is communication, what tips can you give the younger couple on how to keep effective communication consistent in men? I, I let her start. <laughs> Good start. Good start. Okay. Um, I have to learn. So it hasn't been, you know, all peaches and roses and unicorn. It's a learning process. And one of the tips I would like to give you is that um, if he does anything that you do not like, say it. Do not keep it in here and then give him the silent treatment and it goes on and on. Just say it right there and then, you know, and let it respond. And then you can, you know, you can, for example, if you said, well, I didn't know, he said, I understand you didn't know what I'm telling you now. This is how I feel, this is how you get me feel. When you do so and so. But it wasn't like that in the beginning for me. I used to be quiet, I would just give him the silent treatment, you know, for days. So that's one thing. <laughs> just say it right there and then, you know, and you don't have to be angry when you're saying that. Talk in the mic. <laughs> We all want to benefit from your jewel, right? You want to benefit from it. One of the biggest things um, you have to plan for is your finances. Maybe one person controls the finances, but you got to share the information. So if I can, and whatever you do, discuss it with her before you do anything. Particularly when it comes to being high tech, make sure. are supposed to be in the same thing. Right. Don't let it, it, it run the money because that is what we do. And don't let it run the guy because man says okay. Man says it's okay, it's okay with you. Man says it's not okay, then it's not okay. If you say it's okay, then you've got to be the same. Yeah. Make sure whatever you do for the kids, don't let them play with you. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, so that's, I know, if you don't come to the relationship with everyone. Can you talk to me like me? Huh? <laughs> I am talking to me. No, we want everybody to hear you too. Huh? <laughs> that's, that, that's one thing. Okay. And it's, the grass is never green on the other side. So anytime you think, oh, God, I can't stand him, I want to leave him, think it over and talk to somebody. Don't just, you know, just talk to someone who can counsel you. That doesn't say you have to take their counsel, but it's good to talk instead of holding everything you do. Yeah. Because I used to do that and it almost killed me. Yeah. Okay. Good advice. Uh, one, yeah. one more, one more. Like I said, I'm being on talking about your money part. Yeah. 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 Don't get it said you got a lot of debt. Oh my God. Yeah. Make sure you don't. And the reason why uh, people get into debt is because they try to buy something when they can afford it. What to do? You said, I need the refrigerator to make sure that you're not going to buy it this month. But next month, when you go to buy it, and you do your purchases, another thing that a lot of people don't know is that. Most of the time, if you get stuff on purchase, higher purchase or whatever it is, credits, take it on a 90 day test. It might be hard for you to do. Your payment might be $100. If you can split it in over a day and get it, you don't have no interest. And after a while, everything that you have, you own, you will have paid off. So, uh, you know, it's just good to say you have been dead to for many years, and that's the way it is. Yeah. So, that, that, that's a good tip for you. Okay. So, do you have any questions? Yes. I'm a little <laughs> Good, good idea. <laughs> I will make this on. It might have to be on. Yeah. 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 Reference to money. Yeah. yeah. Finances. Okay. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Am I speaking loud? Okay. I'm usually loud. Can you? Yeah. Um, I guess my question would be, um, were you both, when you both were um, just newly married, were you both like heavy in Christ, or was it like a one that's more in and the other, like, like, did you have that structure? I was um, one foot in and one foot out when we got married. And when things started getting rough with us, there was a lady who was in my church. And one night she came to the house and she said, where is your husband? And I said, I don't know. And she said, if you do not give your life to the Lord fully, you're not going to have a husband. And this child is not going to have a father. And that was what changed me. I said, oh my God, what? Yeah. And so I started going to church and I would be praying for him. And there were times when he would drop me off at church and he's gone to a party. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it was. And then when we came to the States, my pastor started calling him Brother Dudley. And I said, Brother Dudley, Brother Dudley, he doesn't even come to church. <laughs> Right. The pastor said, I'm claiming him. And so he started like sending me, you know, messages. You tell Brother Dudley and to come and do this. And I said, he does he's not a member of the church, you know. And one day they took him to a men's conference. And I was in the grocery store. And I turned around and I saw him. And he said to me, Joe, he calls me Joe. Joe, you know, I've given my life to Christ. I said, Amen. 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 And we'll eat and then return to our game. 